Aww. That's always a good thing to tell people. Don't try this at home. Right. When you're dealing with animals like that. Of course. So embarrassing. If I had a nickel for every time that's happened to me, I would have a lot of nickels. <laughs> that exact? Stuck in, a, stuck in a swing? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Don't stick your head in the swing. I just did kids. <laughs> just learn just from my mistakes it. here. Yeah. You know what that is? Actually, what that animal was doing is rutting. It's that time of year. So if you've ever noticed it before, I learned about this in Colorado where, you know, a lot of like the, the younger ones, the adolescent ones, when they're growing their horns, they have that kind of fur on there. And as they're trying to get rid of that fur, they're always trying to rub it on stuff. And I'm guessing that's what happened. That kind of ties into what I'm about to tell you about. There is a full moon out there. A lot of us know it as the harvest moon, the big famous one. Thank you, Neil Young. But another name for it is the rutting moon because it's quite common for antlered animals to be running around trying to rut all of that stuff off of their antlers. Okay, we've all learned stuff. What I want to tell you is that the skies are clearing and if you look off towards the east tonight, you will see that rutting moon out there. It's the last of the super moons. In fact, we've had four in a row and it's it's big, it's bright, it's beautiful, and we're going to get to see it all weekend long. 51 degrees out there right now, light wind coming in from the north, but what I want to draw your attention to is humidity. See that 74%? It kind of rained all week long. There's still lots of available moisture in the atmosphere that is kind of evaporating up and out of the ground. You match that up with the almost complete and total lack of the wind, you know what you get? Potential for some fog. That is going to be one of the things that we'll be tracking tomorrow, but we're also going to get a nice break from the rain. I'll show you that fog potential in just a moment here, but know this once it mixes out. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon, both Saturday and Sunday. Showers will return on Monday for the eighth week in a row, but it will be warming and drying again next week. In fact, I think next weekend looks even better than this weekend, and this one looks pretty good courtesy of this ridge that's going to build across the region and then wait for it. Wait for it. Yep. Late Sunday night, early Monday morning. There it is. The rain train returns. So we put things into motion. That my friends is fog and a lot of it. It's going to be fairly dense from basically Skagit, Snohomish County, all the way through down towards Pierce County there. And it's going to stick around for a bit. It's not until about lunchtime that we finally start to see that mix out. But man, when it does, it's just going to be a marvelous day to get out and do virtually anything you like. Now, it'll be back on Sunday, but you're seeing what I'm seeing, not to the same extent. So stands to reason that that will mix out much quicker and easier than it will on Saturday, making for a beautiful day on Sunday. And if you're worried about the cloud cover moving in, don't worry about it because it doesn't come in until 8 o'clock and the sun sets at 6.50 p.m. Anyway, we're going to be tracking those showers moving in early on Monday. We'll get that out of here on Tuesday, and then again, starting Wednesday, we're going to get a nice recovery going. 50s overnight, 60s headed our way tomorrow. In fact, some of us pushing for some upper 60s, and your seven-day forecast shows a good-looking weekend, a little bit of work to do early week, and then rewarded with some 70s next Friday.